to start with inclusion criteria uh, in the methodology section it is important it is a, one of the important steps yeah because this uh, inclusion criteria will tell what uh, will guide you as to what things papers you are going to include and what you are not going to include so this is kind kind of like a filter so that you know that you have taken a very systematic approach to selecting the required articles for your uh, primary studies so for example let's look at this paper here what they say we have included studies that had been peer reviewed so one criteria is only peer reviewed papers would be included as primary studies uh, they describe some contributions of your topic so that is another criteria here explain the main purpose of the dialogue so this paper is about um, intelligent tutoring systems specify the adopted nlu approach describe how the tutoring dialogue was conducted describe any further details so this was one uh, thing what they had as their included criteria papers published between 2008 and december 2019 were selected in this paper uh, in this study then they given the rationale here the rationale behind the selection is our intention to update the review conducted in one which covered works until 2008 yeah so this is a continuation of the work that was done till 2008 and then they have now taken another 10 11 years of literature and further studied that peer reviewed articles and journals was used with this filter we assure that our results come from high quality sources so this is another filter that can help you to cut down the number of articles if you are uh, if, you, if you get a lot of articles. Okay, uh, here the papers uh, published and written in English. So they were only selecting papers that were in English language. Papers are related to flaws adoption. So this is another inclusion criteria here. During the filtering process, we selected candidate papers whose title and abstract refer to flaws adoption. Uh, so this is a, a technical term for this particular paper. But basically what they want to look, they want to find papers that are related to adoption and adoption of something. So in this case, it is flaws. We conducted a series of meetings to validate the selected papers relevant to the topic. So in this case, the inclusion criteria is about the time period in which they selected the papers. The second was that they stated that they are going to choose journal articles. Next was about English. And then next was about the actual content of the uh, research, the so actual research. So only papers that were about adoption, flaws adoption were studied uh, or were included. Now let's talk about the exclusion criteria. So in exclusion criteria, we have to mention those factors or those criteria that this, that helped us to decide whether to include a paper or exclude a paper okay so these are the exclusion criteria so sometimes you find that the research papers will uh, say that we will include papers that are only journal art. and then there are the exclusion is conference papers book chapters or something like that. so what happens in that case is it is actually not necessary and it is to know that you're only selecting journal articles it actually means that all the other types of articles are excluded so that is not a good example of giving an exclusion criteria so what could be a good good example of an exclusion criteria is, for example, in the first, uh, in the previous one, we saw that the one of the inclusion criteria was journal article. The exclusion criteria could be within those journal articles, you can select which type of studies you are going to exclude. So maybe you are going to do, uh, you do not want to include literature review papers. Yeah. So these type, types of papers are published in journal articles, but we have to say that for our SLR, we are going to choose empirical papers uh, and hence survey articles, uh, opinion papers and um, or any other kind of studies are excluded. You can even go to the extent that if your focus is only on quantitative studies, then you can say that qualitative studies will be excluded from our selection. So that is an example of a exclusion criteria. Those like, like in this case, now it, in the inclusion criteria, probably they had mentioned that they only select papers in English. There is no point to choose uh, say state again that papers that are not in English will be excluded. So it is understood. And then you can then go to the actual content of the paper, right? So in this case, they say if something has not been covered in this paper, then it will be excluded. Yeah, so maybe the title and the abstract talks about the research topic, but the specific answer that you're looking for, uh, for your research questions, if that is not included, we will exclude those kind of studies. So when you see some examples uh, of papers that are published in uh, your discipline, and again, referring to those three SLR papers that I started, that I asked you to start reading from the beginning, uh, you can see what kind of inclusion and exclusion criteria they have used. So in this case, another example, papers published in conference proceedings or as book chapters are excluded. Papers that are related to flaws adoption 
do not explicitly describe adoption factors yeah so in the this this is a good example you know of what uh, from a content based exclusion criteria in the inclusion criteria they say they should be the paper should be about adoption however in the exclusion say although it is about adoption there is certain things that are still missing and that paper is not relevant to us okay so that could be a, an example of how you can uh, write a good uh, exclusion criteria uh, duplicate papers are excluded that is fairly straightforward uh, because you search from so many different databases there is uh, likely to have, uh, duplication is likely to happen here inclusion and exclusion criteria this is from this paper here uh, model based software design and testing what they have done here is they have gone to another level or what they have done is they have created multiple phases of their research and in each phase they check uh, the inclusion and exclusion criteria for example in phase one they say automatic search was conducted in each digital library in this sense papers returned by search queries are included so in the, that is the first in the second phase they choose only english papers published between 2016 till 2020 papers not related to the subject were excluded so in this kind of a uh, so this is an example where they have explained both the inclusion and exclusion criteria in the same same section yeah same paragraph others you will see there will be a table with inclusion criteria here and exclusion criteria here so just showing you uh, different types of options of how how the criteria uh, inclusion or exclusion criteria can be mentioned and then so on so you can go through this but basically the idea is to clearly specify how your selection has happened uh, so here they also go and they say that they have selected uh, prestigious conferences that is a a star a b and c conferences so in computer science there is a thing conference rank uh, ranking list which is called as the core ranking list uh, where the papers are categorized into these categories a b c and a star. so they they said that they are going to use journal articles as well as uh, conference papers in their in their SLR, and this is the justification so we decided to exclude surveys discussions, reviews or opinion papers related to this topic. Okay, so this is also something that you can you can explain and you can write in your SLR. So the more SLR papers that you read, the more ideas you will get on how the inclusion and exclusion criteria is 